If you thought ChatGPT was going well before, just look at what the introduction of custom GPTs did. OpenAI needed to pause plus subscriptions because they couldn't handle all the new users. I think it's fair to say that custom GPTs were the best and most popular addition to JetGPT since it launched. But of course you have to pay for JetGPT Plus and then you also have a message limit, which can be really annoying. So let's have a look at a free alternative that you can start using today. Pal AI. Let's go to palai.io and let's get started. All right, here we are at Pal.ai's website. I have a link in the description to Pal.ai.io. You can click here on the menu, and then you get this menu over here where you can look at different things. Maybe we'll look at a few in the moment, but all you really need is when we go out of the menu again, you can click here on Get My Bot Now, and then you're here. As you see, I already experimented with a few things, but we are going to build our own bots right now and I show you exactly how. So, of course, very intuitive. The very first thing you do is you click on add new bot. Oh, and by the way, you can see I'm logged in with my Google account here. You can also create an uh, original account with your email address if you want to. But now let's click on add new bot. And then we can decide if we want to make a PAL bot or a GPT bot. Now, as for my understanding, a GPT bot is something that you can also sell in the GPT store or that will also be available in the GPT store and integrate more from ChatGPT, whereas PAL, the PAL bot, will take more from the custom knowledge that you upload. Um, at least that's how I understand it, but I'm also not entirely sure what the actual difference is. Let's just create a MyPal bot and have a look how that works. So first of all, you can upload a picture for that bot, you can give it a name, and then you can describe the personality. This is basically the instructions that you give the bot, how it should answer, what it should say, what it should take knowledge from. Now down here you immediately see a very cool thing. You can just copy and paste YouTube videos, links to YouTube videos or web addresses. And the PAL bot will directly take information out of the video or from the web address, which is not possible with the custom GPTs. So I think this is very, very amazing. And then here you can upload your custom files. So let's test that. I prepared this YouTube video for me where I talk about the five best AI tools that you've never heard of. I highly recommend you watch that. But let's copy and paste the URL and call that testbot. Um, and then your goal is to provide the user with the best AI tools things that you can do when you create your bot are here in additional settings. Then here you can choose the engine GPT-4 or 3.5 Turbo. A few other configurations are also choose if you want broad knowledge. So it will use your knowledge plus GPT knowledge or specific knowledge. Then it will use your knowledge only, which can be quite useful. But let's go broad knowledge. And other things is you can deploy the chatbot, so you can use it in Telegram, in Discord, or you can share it on your website, which can be very, very useful. And there you can just integrate that as a chatbot that other users can interact with. All right, now that we've created our bots, let's talk to them. But first, just a few more things about Pal AI. What I really like is that it's decentralized. It runs on the Ethereum blockchain which makes your data more secure, ensures better privacy and many more advantages, such as greater censorship resistance. A really great thing is that you can use it entirely for free without any obvious touch points with Web3 or blockchain technology, which is a great thing because for many people this can be a bit complicated or even intimidating. Also, Pal AI offers your own chatbot, which you can talk to in Telegram, particularly if you have any crypto or blockchain related questions.
This bot can be your new best friend when it comes to blockchain and crypto. But now let's talk to our own created bot and see how that goes. All right, for that we just click on chat. But before we do that, I just realized I made a slight mistake here. When you add in the URL, uh, you need to actually click here at the URL and then click on send. So you can actually get the knowledge from there or doesn't save. So that was just something I want to add. Now you can see down here, it got the URL, even the title, the five best AI tools. And now you can click here on chat and ask the bot, what are the five best AI tools? And then let's wait for the answer. And I kind of expected that he doesn't give the tools from the video. Uh, and let me show you why when we go to configure up here again, then this is what the bot should do, right? This is the instruction. This is what the bot should do. One thing that we need to add here, if we want him to refer to our custom knowledge, always refer to the custom knowledge. First. And you can write in here everything that you want to write. So you can create the bot according to your vision, how you want to have it. But if we now go to chat and ask, what are the five best AI tools again? It gives us the tools from the video. <laughs> of course, these are not the quote unquote best tools, but the best unknown tools that I found. My mind, Talk, Replica, um, this is not quite right here. Um, this should be... I'm not even sure <laughs> what I did in the video. Um, but yeah, Dun didn't get that one quite right. Operating, so oh, that should be Chirp. Okay, maybe that's true because Tsuno Chirp uh, works with ChatGPT underlying. Um, so yeah, that... And yeah, this is text FX, so it didn't get the name quite right but it got the tools right. And now you can also ask further questions about the tools. For example, what can you do with my mind? All right. And here you see the different things that it extracted from the video about my mind. Auto categorize, saves information, easy search, browse extension, so yeah, that works very well. Of course, it has a few hiccups here and there, but I think it's still a pretty, pretty cool tool, a good addition to ChatGPT, uh, to custom GPTs that you can use for free and build for yourself. Okay, now let's talk about the biggest weakness when it comes to Pal AI and their chatbots, which unfortunately is a very, very big one. The bot doesn't have a memory which means you can ask it one question and get one answer, but you cannot ask any follow-up questions, which you can see here. All right, let's just tell the bot my name is Philip. All right, the bot got that, it even used my name. Now let's ask, what is my name? Should be simple, I just told it my name, but let's see. I don't have access to personal data. I cannot remember your name. And you can do that with anything. I also tried it with um, the weather is rainy or the color. My favorite color is green. It doesn't remember anything. And that's a very unfortunate, big, big weakness. But I'm optimistic that this will get changed or get better in the future as Pell continues working on itself and growing. Not being able to have an actual conversation is absolutely horrible when it comes to the usage and user experience. But I hope that this will get changed in the future. Pal AI is actively working on making this better and implementing every new technology and AI advancements that come along. Now, when you have only one question that you can ask and get one answer, you should know a little bit about how to ask this question in the right way so you get the best output possible. So you should familiarize yourself a little bit with prompt engineering. I made a video about prompt engineering for ChatGPT in the past, but the principles are always the same and you can use this exact video to write your prompts for Pal AI and get much better output. Check it out right over there. 
Oh, and I'm sure you already noticed this, but the connection between blockchain and AI is my absolute favorite topic to talk about. So expect a lot more of that content in the future.